Let's jump to the war here, and today in this video, I want to set some goals for the channel going into 2024, do a bit of a recap of 2023, and just basically let you know what kind of content you can expect from this channel going into 2024. I'm really hopeful that 2024 is going to be an amazing year. We've had a really strong couple of months here, uh, off, coming off the back of quite a rough couple of years, but I kind of feel like the rough period is over now. So I really want to thank you guys firstly for the amazing amount of support that the channel's been getting over the past two months, because I've had pretty low motivation for the channel the past couple of years, but this latest wave of support has reignited quite a bit of my motivation, and I want to really hit the ground running in 2024 with some really good content. Anyway, we'll get into that in a bit. So I'm on Social Blade here, comparing my channel with the official Total War channel. And obviously by the title of this video, you can tell that my goal is going forward to surpass the official Total War YouTube channel in terms of subscribers. Now, me doing this doesn't hurt the official Total War channel at all. It's simply just, I'm a gamer, I like numbers going up. The number of subscribers does not translate to making more money. It's just numbers going up. It's just for fun, basically. So nobody is going to get hurt by this, but I personally enjoy it. So. And I found that this is a good way to motivate myself to make uh, content that's actually going to get you guys to subscribe. So going to go over some stuff over here and then some channel analytics that you guys know what the potential is for for doing this. So uh, I've been gaining on the Total War official channel for a while. The Total War official channel started in 2008 and I started in late 2012. Actually, the, I think the first video was uploaded 1st of January 2013. So they had a few years gain on me and also it took me a few years to really learn how to use YouTube, but I've been slowly gaining on them for years now. And if we have a look here, before Warhammer 3 came out, there was a 100,000 subscriber gap between myself and the official Total War channel. And today there is just a little bit over 50,000 subscriber gap. Now the thing is here, between this period here and this period here, you know, roughly 2022 to 2023, um, this was one of the slowest growth periods in terms of subscribers for the channel in the history of it. So on average, I gained about 30 to 60 subscribers a day during this. That was That's very slow. Like prior to that, it was hundreds. Now in this period here, this is where the last two months has been. This has been the, the latest encouragement. Now this was triggered by the return to historical Total War games. So that has uh, motivated me to keep going with the historical stuff. You guys have responded very well to the Medieval 2 stuff and the, um, the Fall of Samurai stuff. And that's something I definitely wanted to uh, keep going into 2023. Uh, sorry, 2024. So the past two months, basically, if you have a look over here, we've actually been gaining 200 subscribers every day. And if we have a look here, this gives us future subscriber predictions based on a linear path, which is likely to be adjusted as we go. But if we have a look here at this intersection, it says here on the 20th of September, 2024, actually a little bit earlier than that. Yeah, just around that time, sometime in September of 2024, if things remain exactly the same, um, we will actually surpass the Total War official channel in terms of subscribers because they haven't been gaining subscribers, and that's largely because they haven't been releasing any videos. They probably will gain subscribers when they release the trailer for, for Thrones of Decay, and there's always a possibility that my, my sub count will go either up or down. That's entirely up to you guys. So what I want to do to incentivize you guys to actually subscribe is to put a goal when we surpass the official Total War channel, it doesn't matter if it's in 2024 or 2025, 2026, 2027. Whenever it does happen, I'm going to do the biggest um, charity event that I've ever done on this channel. So in the past, whenever we've hit certain milestones, we've done like a 24-hour live stream. So we'll do something along those lines, but bigger. So I'll extend it out maybe a couple of days or even a week, have more people involved with it, basically try to raise more money for charity than what we've done previously, including my own personal contributions. So one charity that I've worked with in the past that I really like what they do is Extra Life. So that's probably what I would want to work with going forward with the, the next charity event. So that's what I want to do when we surpass the Total War official channel. Now, another thing that I've been sort of thinking about for a, a, a while is that we hit sort of like a... Um, a market cap in terms of subscribers for a while, which is why I haven't really set any goals for quite some time. 
And uh, I went through my channel analytics and realized that actually, no, we're not at the uh, the uh, market cap. And what I mean by market cap is that there's just no more subscribers to be had. I've just sort of got all of them. But I don't think that's actually true. If we have a look at some channel analytics here, see, a few years back, the number of not subscribed to the channel in terms of views was about 40% which meant that the total number of views that were coming in, 60% of it was from subscribers. But it's actually gone up to 52.8%. So what that means is that there is actually a whole bunch of new viewers or returning viewers that are currently not subscribed. In fact, there are more views that are gamed on the channel from not subscribed than from subscribed. Now, typically speaking, subscribers will, on average, watch more views. This doesn't mean that I have 2.2 million subscribers. This is over the past 28 days. What this simply means is, you know, of the, let's just say, 100,000 of my 480,000 thousand subscribers, maybe those guys watched 20 videos each, possibly. It's hard to say. To get an exact breakdown, it's just not really possible to do with the analytics here. And it's quite possible that the not subscribed, maybe they watched uh, several videos each, or maybe maybe there were actually 2.4 million people that watched and decided not to subscribe. So what I want to do is encourage people to actually subscribe and get this uh, percentages maybe flipped around a little bit. And the thing is, if only a small portion of people not subscribed currently subscribe, then we will surpass the Total War official channel pretty much overnight. Now, I have no delusions about that happening. It's, it's not going to happen, right? So this is a this is something that I'm going to have to do long term. I'm going to have to actually make good content in order to get you guys to subscribe. A video like this is not going to be enough to push you guys. I don't expect tomorrow to have 540,000 subscribers. Don't expect that whatsoever. So I've got plans for uh, returning to some older style of content that I haven't done in years. I don't mean Let's Plays. Um, probably doing more live streams next year than what we did this year, because this year was mostly retirement. Um, obviously going to keep doing Disaster Battles, but we want to cover a wider range of Total War games, not just Total War Warhammer. And try out some new formats with, uh, with the channel. Stuff that requires a little bit I guess, more effort uh, in terms of editing, because a lot of the videos that we make are not particularly edited, uh, just because it allows us to to get content out a lot quicker um, to, to do daily uploads. So we want to sort of ramp up the production quality a little bit. I'm, of course, going to get a new computer come 2024, so the quality of the uh, of the visuals you should be seeing, especially in Total Warhammer, will improve. So that is something, that's a promise I'm gonna to make to you guys. I will be getting a new computer at some point in 2024, um, probably very early on in the year. So that's the goal there for 2024, to surpass the Total War official channel. And of course, I need your help to do that. It doesn't hurt them whatsoever. Uh, it's not gonna affect their marketing whatsoever. Uh, this is just personal goal because, like I said, I'm a gamer. I like numbers going up. It it just helps to motivate me and keep things going. And while I'm motivated, that tends to be when I'm making the best content. And when I think back to the, the period of the channel that I was most motivated, it was largely during 2019 to 2021 when we were gaining like 400 subscribers a day. But when things started to slow down, I started to just lose my motivation. So I want to try to keep this momentum going and see if we can have a, like a second renaissance of the channel, which I, I hope that you guys will appreciate and enjoy because at the end of the day, it's up to you guys whether or not you actually enjoy the content. And I'm just going to do my best to try to make sure that you do. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. That's the goal. Um, when we surpass the official Total War YouTube channel, we're going to do a massive charity event and uh, just try to support the community as much as possible going forward into 2024. And if we don't end up surpassing the Total War official channel, then that's cool. That's cool. I'll probably still do a charity event. It just won't be the biggest charity event ever. Although personally, I believe that this is inevitable. I've been gaining on them for years and uh, it's not a matter of if, but when. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the support over this year and going into 2024. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.